Stateside now, President Trump's nominee to fill the spot of Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the U.S. Supreme Court isn't sitting well with Democrats. With just over a month to go until the presidential election, Democratic nominee Joe Biden is urging the Republican-controlled Senate not to act on the nomination, but that's unlikely, as Dwight Ryan tells us. Adding fuel to the already heated Supreme Court debate, today Joe Biden criticized President Trump and the Republican-led Senate for moving too fast with the nomination. The Senate has to stand strong for our democracy. They must not act on this nomination until the American people finish the process they're already begun of selecting their president and their Congress. It comes one day after President Trump unveiled conservative federal appeals court judge Amy Coney Barrett as his pick to replace the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. A vote for Amy Coney Barrett is a vote to decimate the health care that so many Americans need. That move has angered top Democrats who say the nomination could lead to the repeal of the Affordable Health Care Act also known as Obamacare, when the case goes before the justices. That is why he was in such a hurry, so he could have someone in place for the oral arguments, which began November 10th. In a tweet today, President Trump said if the court struck down the ACA, it would be a big win for the country. And the White House says GOP leaders are ready to deliver a quick nomination. We've been in conversations with Leader McConnell, with uh, Chairman Graham. Uh, he is going to put forth a pretty aggressive uh, uh, schedule for hearings and markups that we believe will happen in the middle part of October. Dwight Ryan, CHCH News.